I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual Clues Challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved Old Town Hall is burned to the ground, I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights' public enemy number one. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This is not a drill. Monster sighted on castle grounds. This message will not repeat. Monster breached castle security. Monster currently in castle. This is not a drill. This message will not repeat. The monster is in the castle. Here at Castle Finster, we aim to provide a first-class clobbering experience. Your monster attack may be monitored for training purposes. The monster is outside, and he is looking at the castle. Everybody be cool. The monster is in the security booth. Please hold. The monster has broken my boombox. I fear for the worst. Leave me alone now. Not now, Nancy. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you right now. Back so soon? Did you need something else? No, change first. We will talk later. Hello, Nancy. Hi. Yes? What do you want? Oh, hello, Nancy. Nancy? Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! Why are you still wearing that? Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? <laughs> what is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness! I am Renate, officially, and you are Nancy, officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Who left that in your room? Change out of it now! <laughs> This is bad. Who did it? Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. This, this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a great liar. You should work on that. Oh, not, I suppose. <laughs> Good try. But I don't buy it. Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster? He's here for you. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I didn't think that you would. You are part of this story now. Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's... Why, her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants, all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day, when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, She tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. There were monsters in the woods that night. Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name? What kind of monster it was? That means nothing. This isn't a fairy tale. It doesn't matter if you believe or not. You wouldn't know her. Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. <laughs> You'll figure it out. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. <laughs> if you don't know by now, look around, think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. Threatening you? No. <laughs> no, I'm not threatening you, Nancy. I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? Me either. 
What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Right. No. I ask you, do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. You can't trust someone like that. You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. You are very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. Yes. Much, much, much older. You must get rid of this. Yes. These days, less and less. Since I've been a little girl, the world has decided to spend each day forgetting what makes it special. Because it's dangerous. That's why. A long time ago, when you would travel from town to town, each place would be different. You'd never know what you were going to find over the next hill. But now, it's all the same. Now you just wonder, will the fast food place be on the left side or the right side of the street? I feel bad for your generation. There is less to explore. There is. But there is also less. What you think of as wild now is nothing. Too many people want to tame this world. And too many people think that they have. The world is a dangerous place. It will always be. Your grandparents and parents spent their lives rounding the sharp corners off of the world to make it safer. But all that they've done is make the world uniform and boring. It is still just as cruel and deadly. That's true. The festivals they have here. Do you know what it is for? It's to celebrate another year without a monster attack. Even now. Now that there is no doubt that the monster is back, they prepare for the celebration. They'd rather pretend to live in a safe world than face what is really happening. I do not know enough to say for sure, but I do know it is tragic. There are two choices. One, the monster's real. He's a living mystery, some terrible abomination hiding in the woods, something that doesn't belong in this rational world. It could just as easily be something else. Something worse. The worst monsters are self-made. There are people like you and like me, but they have taken a terrible turn. They let everything awful, everything sad take up all of the breathing room in their hearts until all they know is revenge. That I don't know. Every generation has its troubles, Nancy. When the troubles can't be contained, the monster comes out. One thing I do know, it's monsters, human or otherwise, can't stand hope. They can't stand being near a good heart. They try to destroy anything honest and good. They can't bear to remember how they once were. I know. I, I think some part of the story is. I do not know. But you, you need to live as if it was true. I'm an old woman who speaks many languages. When I'm tired, sometimes the words do not behave as they should. You know the expression truth is stranger than fiction? It is true, especially here. You don't believe me? Then that is your own problem. Now leave me alone! What do you mean? Yes. There were as many knights in shining armor back then. In fact, there are many around today. Do you know what that really means, knight in shining armor? No. A knight in shining armor never did nothing for nobody. He never fought. A knight in dented, scraped armor. Now that's what you want. You want a knight in shining armor? Go see Karl. Anyway, what's with this knight talk? You hardly seem like the damsel in distress type. Ah, it's a long story. What? Nothing? That was a joke! Always Americans, you have to tell them you are making a joke. Come now, we do it again. Ask again. Ah, it's a long story. I say this jokingly. All right, a pity, love. That's enough. I can move on. It was bad times. Between the wars, I was out with my father and my sister. We had been traveling for a long time. Very long. My sister, she was very sick with a fever, and it was raining. She needed a warm fire very badly. My father and I knew this. Finally, we see a fire in the distance and a group of men. Like I said, it was bad times. Everyone was very scared and very used to fighting, sometimes killing, to get by. 
I could see my father was afraid. He said, follow me. If they do not laugh, you must run. I followed him. We got to the fire. The men, they grabbed their guns. I thought, this is the end. My father looked at them and he said, gentlemen, you smell bad. You're ugly and your mother's dress, you funny. I know, I know. Dead silence. Then, suddenly the biggest one with a scar like this. He starts to laugh. Then they all do. Next thing we are by the fire. My father, he tells stories all through the night. My sister, she's okay. In the morning, we leave as friends. And I knew, I just knew I wanted to be like him. That's not up to me to decide or care about. I have more interesting things to think about than my reputation. And so do you. The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest they make cakes, these chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Yes, you need to know things got much more serious for you now. The monster, he's here now. He is not after Lucas. You do know that, right? Do not think so. Be ready. There is no shame in leaving now, Nancy. It may be your only hope. I don't remember being in the shop. I'm sure you did. I'm an old woman. I can't be expected to remember everything. Why would it matter what I do anyway? Just wait. Should you live to be an old woman, you'll know what it's like. No. Today people want flashy computer games and big budget movies. They want instant gratification. The old stories they traveled from one storyteller to another for millennia. Now they are dying off. No, I know the stories. You do not. It is sad for you. I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. You're half right. I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. That is not what matters, I guess. Yes, I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do, but still I have to come. I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. Maybe you're right. But... Wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Nancy? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. What do you mean? Trust me, I don't keep track of gossip when I'm traveling. The weather, yes. The gossip, no. I'd watch what I said if I was you. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't have. Oh, this is too much. Welcome to my world food. Yum. Oh. That looks so good, thank you. That looks delicious. That is just what I wanted, thank you. Oh, that. Ah, uh, all right. As long as I've got teeth, false or otherwise. Of course I do. Here, here's home. Wherever here may be. It is. You're always leaving home. But then again, you're always heading home. I did, a long time ago. I've lived to be very old. Not everyone is as lucky as I am. Don't be. We had beautiful days while they lasted. No, but I've heard stories. Every place with a history and a dark corner has its own monster to worry about. Two possible answers. The world is either full of bored people or extraordinarily shy monsters. I don't know yet. Wherever I'm needed next. I must be if I'm here. You must learn to relax. Don't pull all of the mystery out of your life. It's no fun that way. Goodbye, Nancy. See you later. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Nancy, I'm so glad you called. Nancy, I think we need to talk. Nancy, it's Ned. Nancy, did you think of any team names? Hi, Nancy. Nancy, how's it going? Hi there. Hello. Hiya, Nancy. The call's breaking up. I, I can't hear you. Call me back on a better line. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's going to be worth it. Of course there has.
Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? I've heard that one before. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. I feel the same way, and I know that. I just forget it sometimes. I feel the same way, and I know that. I just forget it sometimes. I gave what you said some thought, and I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in a fight, I did a lot of thinking. I gave what you said some thought, and I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in a fight, I did a lot of thinking, and I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. Wait, really? Oh, I'd better start working on my sleuthing. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my sleuthing. Well, I'm not sure. I'm still in the planning stages. I think maybe I need an edgier presentation. Get a motorcycle, maybe. Stay out past 10 p.m.? Return library books at the wrong branch? Then you'll like new Ned even more. Once I settle on just what that will involve, maybe I could get a hobby. It's really strange spending my time with you and Frank and Joe. You guys always have such great stories to tell, it makes me feel like I live a pretty boring life in comparison. You guys are always like, remember when we were chased by that abominable snowman that really turned out to be an international art thief and also a spy? My best anecdote from this last year is the time I accidentally said something horrible in Italian to the waiter at the pasta place. I had no idea. It's not the same. It'd be nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. Maybe, but maybe I've just not been looking hard enough. I'll let you know what I find. Not great. So far, I've solved the case of the missing keys, and that's about it. They were in my pocket. Sure. What's going on? Wait, let me guess. You're in Germany, so you're probably in a castle. And if you're in a castle, there's probably some sort of a problem. If I had to guess, I'd say a monster and an eccentric German board game expert. Of course I was. I know you're capable of solving these cases on your own, but I still worry a little bit, especially when you're so far away. Frank kept me up to date on everything that's going on. Now, that doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. It seems like he'd want the castle to be packed. That sounds a little suspicious to me. I'd try to snoop around, see what's really going on with him. Interesting. How do they seem? I mean, do they sound excited or manic or worried? I wonder why that is. Maybe the relationship didn't work out because he's stuck at the castle. What have you found out? Is there a pattern? That's really creepy. I read in one of my classes that people love to find patterns in random things. I think that may be going on here. A few accidents happened and everything snowballs. Pretty soon it looks like a pattern, and if there's a pattern, there must be right. It looks like someone is using the story to their own benefit, if you ask me. It's pretty theatrical, if you think about it. Costumes, props, it's almost like someone is trying to put on some sort of creepy show. Unless there really is a monster, which is unlikely, right? Oh, of course. Pranking people was so much fun, although it wasn't as easy as you'd expect. Well, you've got this elaborate setup, and you want it to be this big show-stopping thing, and everything has to be just perfect or everything's a wash, so lots of times you've got everything all set up, but your victim just won't go in the right room or something like that. It's pretty frustrating. What's what? What? Well, you've got to have an audience, or it's not fun. What? What? Why? Good point. How much time do you have? A photo? I recommend just drawing a picture. Much safer and more meaningful... Adds a personal touch. I don't know why he'd need proof now. Well, if you go out on a monster photo hunt, be careful. And try not to use a flash. They don't like that, I assume. That's a little weird. It might come in handy if you want to do a little snooping. Wait, a real dungeon? Dungeons are crazy if you think about it. I'm so glad they are not that common over here. You know, it just occurred to me that someone had to invent the first dungeon. Well, they didn't always exist, so one day someone had to say... You know, the living room is nice and the kitchen's great, very convenient, don't get me wrong, but you know what would really spruce up the place? Our own private jail. No joke, I'd steer clear of that place if I were you, at least as much as you can. What kind of accident? Do you think it's important? Maybe you should ask Carl about it. He might know. And maybe that's why he's not so keen on having tourists. And if you believe you're cursed, you might as well be cursed. How so? That backs up what they already believe, right? So they're an easy group to trick, if you wanted to. But who would want to? Not yet. But I'll be on standby if you need me. That's pretty bad. Are you going to do anything about it? 
Well, that still doesn't make it right. I agree. Anya and the castle's owner? It might be a sensitive subject for her. Well, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry about it. The same old Joe. It's hard to be in a bad mood around Joe. Have you noticed that? I know. He'll just wear you down until you agree to have a good time. He and Frank are really good friends to have. I've found the perfect thing. It's a bit of a surprise. But we'll need a team. Perfect. I can't tell you too much more, but we'll need the perfect team name. Great. This is going to be so much fun. Perfect. I love it. Ooh, edgy. It's perfect. Right. So if we win, they'll have to say, and the winner is, and the winner is. I love it. Missing, missing? Look for somewhere he might be hiding, but Nancy, be careful. Well, I'm sure it looks great. The compliment or the dress? Well, I meant it. I wonder what it means. Although it might be good for you to fit in while working on the mystery. What do you mean? Nancy, you need to get out of there fast. I wish I wasn't so far away. Do not put yourself in danger. You've got to play it safe. Is there something that the victims have in common? There must be something. Why not? What kind of proof? That sounds dangerous. Oh, I installed something on your phone for just the occasion. It's called the Hit Hotline. It can help you even better than I can, really. It can show you pictures and do all sorts of neat things that I can't. Wow, that's a ringing endorsement. Also, hey, you can still ask me about other things. I can always help you when you want to talk about the case or things like that. Bye. Bye, Nancy. See you soon. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available, too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with the hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To return an object to your inventory, just click on the inventory icon, then click on the open inventory box, and the object will go back into storage. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right-hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen, and you'll see what I mean. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category, and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. Click on the clipboard icon, and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. The floppy disk icon allows you to name your current game, then save it, or to simply save your current game without renaming it. And while we're on the subject, it's a good idea to save your game from time to time while you're playing, just in case. Click on the folder icon and you'll be able to load a previously saved game. Just scroll through the thumbnails, select the game you want, then click on Load. Or if you click on New, you can start a new game. The gear icon allows you to determine how you experience the game. For instance, you can choose to play the game in a window on your computer screen if you want. You can also adjust the volume of the music, voices, and sound effects, as well as turn off the closed captioning text and change the color of the background mat. If you have to stop playing and leave the game, just click on the exit icon. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Wogglewoggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. 
Excuse me, Mr. Woogle Woggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. And you seem to be pretty gabby, especially for someone who doesn't even have a mouth. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. You may occasionally see a question mark in the upper right corner of the top mat. If you click on it, it'll bring up a tip on how to manipulate the current puzzle. Your cell phone has lots of features, phone, camera, messages, and settings. If you're playing as a junior detective, you'll also have access to the Hint Hotline. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Choose a contact from the contacts list to give them a call. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on View Photos to see your saved photos. The new Hint Hotline is available for junior detectives. When you need a hint, click on the hotline to get a list of the possible items to ask about. The hotline will text back an answer. And the Settings menu allows you to personalize your phone by choosing one of the options in each drop-down. Pretty impressive resume! Oh, Behemoth University. <laughs> That's a good school. I wonder if he's available for parties. That was a little creepy. The connection is bad. I should give them a call from the landline. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at a castle that you're staffing. Can I get a little background information about the employees here? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm following up about the castle. What can you tell me about Anya Mittelmeyer? Getting the mail? So she wasn't a manager? Yes, that's the one. That's what it says on her resume. Do you think she'd be the type to lie on her resume? Oh, thanks for your help. Can you tell me about your wizard discount? Do you know anything about Castle Finster? Yes. Yes and yes. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is she lucky? Well, maybe luck isn't the right word. Is there anywhere in particular you'd like to travel? Sounds like a lot of fun. If you're a staffing place, wouldn't you notice Anya lied on her resume? Castellan, can you tell me anything about Franz? Think so. He's head of security. Do any of the other places you staff have monster problems? Except what? Really? Do you have any evidence of that? Can you tell me a little bit about your publications? I'm curious about the email guide. Did it go to all employees? Do you ever send emails on behalf of Marcus? What other pamphlets do you have? Can you tell me a little more about Anya? Please, it's important. Did she ever do anything strange or dishonest? Why not? Do you know anything about Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival? Do you know where I could get a copy of the castle's floor plan? Huh? Were you aware of an accident at Castle Finster? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Hi, Jordan. It's Nancy Drew again. I'm still looking for background information about some of your employees. What happened here? No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I don't really have time. Male. Female. That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Sure. Why are you doing that? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? The castle has its own newspaper? I don't really live in a castle. It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? 
It looks like the monster had a target in mind when he attacked the courtyard. Do you think he's going after someone in particular? Why's that? That's great news. Right. What happened? Ugh, was everyone okay? Is that why you don't want tourists here? Why do you say you're a magnet for bad luck? No, I promise I won't. Like a doppelganger? I don't understand. You don't really think you're cursed, do you? Why? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. What? But this doesn't seem bad. Who are all those letters to? Sorry, I just sort of saw them. Why write so many if you're not going to send them? Have you seen a burr like this before? I'd like to help you with your character again. Brown. Black. I'd like to give you more help with your character. I want my character to wear the ring. My character should have gold coins. I'd really like to help with your character. Hero. Monster. The Great Bear. Ursa Major. I'd like to help you with your character again. Thanks. Is my card ready? With what? Can you help me distract Lucas for a minute by staying at your desk? He wants to set up a prank for you. So, how did it go with Lucas? Did you still need help getting Raid ready for review? Sure. I don't really have time right now. No. Who's Lucas? What do you mean? Bye. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. What has happened with the monster so far? Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? Okay. I just want to ask her a few questions. What's the story with the De Ungeheuer Lichkeit Nacht Festival? What does the festival celebrate? I don't understand. Why are you having a celebration this year? Well, if you've already got the cake. It seems like maybe you should cancel this year's celebration. This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? What do you mean? But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? What happened? Was his daughter ever found? Why would Anya be going out into the woods? I saw her go into the forest. It looked like she really didn't want anyone following her. I'm sure she had a reason. I keep finding references to these missing girls. You're supposed to help me out here. I need to know what they mean. What do you mean? I have gathered that. Why are the victims always young women? Is that what you think? What do you think happens? What do you mean? Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. Were they dolls? Okay, what are those items? Oh, right. Nope, still don't get it. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. Oh, yes, we would call it that. They are? I don't think that's true. Why is that? No, the other thing. Why is this game so important? Sure, I'd love to. Now's not a good time. I'd like to play a round of your game. I'd like to play a round of Raid. I loved it. I didn't like it. Thanks. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? Why's that? What do you mean? I'm not a kid, and I'm good at getting to the bottom of tough mysteries. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I'm going to figure out what's really going on here. I have big news. I just caught Lucas dressed up as a monster. No, wait. Wait, you need to let me finish. Yes, Lucas was dressed up as a monster, but after I caught him, I saw the actual monster. I saw the monster, or something. I don't know exactly what I saw, but it wasn't Lucas. Yes, I'm positive I saw something. If I leave now, you'll still have the same problem on your hands. It's true. I'll prove it to you. I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. Do you believe me now? Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I thought you didn't like him. What do you think of Renata? Anya told me she likes Renata. I like your later hosen. What do you mean? Then why do you wear them? It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. It sounds like you don't like tourists. I heard that you're trying to get the tourists away from the castle. The note I found about keeping the tourists from destroying your castle. And what better way to get them away than scaring them away? 
What do you think of Marcus? Tell me about the accident. I think you know what I'm talking about. This is Nancy Drew. Please let me in. Nancy Drew. What? My quest. Can I talk to someone else about coming in? All right. Okay. I solved it. It's you. What are you doing? Yeah, I've heard that one before. This isn't my first... <gasps> What's that? Shh. What is that? Lucas, quiet. I need to see which way he's going. Hurry. I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Hello? Hello? Open up, please. What? Hi. So are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? I'm Nancy Drew. It's for the festival. Your outfit is pretty weird, too. Okay, what's that? I don't really have time for that right now. Sure. Not now. I'd like to play a round of Monster. I hear you have a reputation as a prankster. Like what exactly? What do you have planned? What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? Hmm, what's that? Why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? Why are you always pranking Carl? Secret passages? Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? What do you think of all the tourists who come here? Aren't you worried about getting in trouble with Carl? I get the picture. Okay, go ahead. I think you're the one behind the monster sightings. You're what? That's enough. I think you're the one causing the sightings. That's TV, not real life. You're not answering my question. Have you always lived here? What do you mean? What does he mean when he says that? What does he say about the history of this castle? What do you know about Renata? What kind of reputation? How so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? Okay, you must have a reason for not liking her. Do you know what the stories about these missing girls are all about? Do you think that's true? Thank you very much, Lucas. Oh, no, it, it's cool. Do you like living here at the castle? It seems like a weird place to grow up. Do your school friends like to visit the castle? Really? It seems like a place where all the kids would want to hang out. Why is that? There's nothing wrong with that. Good friends are hard to find. Is that what they call you at school? I bet they're just jealous that you get to live in a castle. Well, it's true. Are you worried about the monster? I don't really believe in monsters. Usually it's just someone pretending. Well, she's right. Monsters aren't real. You do have a point there. No, that's not right. What do you think of Marcus? He's the man who owns the castle. Where is the security booth? I don't have time to play games right now. I really need to know where the security booth is. What can you tell me about Anya? Why is that? What's she busy doing? Why do you say that? What's up with all of the signs everywhere? Who put them up? What is Carl so worried about? What were the old signs like? What happened to the signs? Have you seen the monster? How can you not know? Where? What did you see? I think you're making this up. I shouldn't. Sure. You seem to know a lot about what happens in the castle. Sure. Your monster costume was actually pretty good. As a rule, I don't condone dressing up as a monster and scaring people, but it looked good nonetheless. What made you dress up as the monster? A monster expert? Any clue what I could use against the castle's real monster? You speak English very well. Did you study it in school? Oh, really? Where is she now? Why is it stupid? Would you miss it here? I'm sure if you end up moving, you'll grow to love your new home. Even when they have monsters? Got any more advice on catching a monster? Sure. Not at all. How is that going to help me catch a monster? Isn't it a bit late for you to be up? Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Should I pick a set? Where would you go if you had to move? I got stuck between the castle gates. Did you have anything to do with that? Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long ago. I'm sure it's just your imagination. I'm sure everything is fine. I promise. Okay, Carl is distracted. So, how did the prank go? Bye. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. 
Are those your last cards? I'd like to play a round of Monster. Hi, it's Nancy. So far, I'll do my best. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Right. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What can you tell me about Anya? Why were you surprised she was working here? You and Anya? Really? She didn't mention that. Strange how? Wait, what happened? You're the one who broke up with Anya? Did you know that Anya lied on her resume? I found Lucas dressed up as the monster. Yeah, but then I saw the real monster. Well, maybe. I'm doing my best. Are you driving right now? Should I let you go? The monster got past the gates. Really? Can you tell me how to get to the security booth? Thanks. I keep finding references to girls who have disappeared. What do you know about that? Not exactly, just trying to figure out what's going on. Someone put out a traditional costume, but no one will say who. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? Like seeing a monster? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I keep finding codes around the castle. I understand you're having financial problems. I found an email from you that says otherwise. The email says that things are tough and that the castle is going to have to make changes soon or dramatic action will have to be taken. So the castle is doing well financially? Are you planning on selling the castle? I found an email that says otherwise. What did you mean about using the castle's history to bring customers in? It was in an email you wrote. Someone has kidnapped Lucas. Yes, I mean, he's missing. I don't know anything for sure. What do you know about Renata? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. What do you think of Carl? Have you tried Carl's game? What made you get into the castle business? Have you ever had something like this monster happen to you before? I wanted to look up some background information about the employees here. Can you give me clearance with CastleCast? What is CastleCast? Why do you use them? You seem to be pretty hands-off. Do you spend much time at the castle? Why didn't you? So you try to bring in tourists? Doesn't make sense. So what exactly is your business? That's not very specific. Anya still seems pretty upset about the breakup. That she spent her best years with you and one day you just left. Are you? Do you believe that the monster could be real? That didn't exactly answer my question. Bye. Thanks. See you later. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. Ned, I think we need to talk. Ned, I'm so glad you called. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. Hi, Ned. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. Fine. That was not great. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way you are. Me too. I'm happy to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures any time. It's true. You might be right. So what can I expect from the new and improved Ned? Oh, no, no, that might not be the solution. Don't forget, I like you just the way you are. Not a bad idea. Yeah, what you said was pretty unforgivable. I'm just teasing. It was just a misunderstanding. And anyway, you have great stories about school and football. It doesn't exactly work that way. So, how's your search for a mystery? Well, I wouldn't be worried. There are mysteries everywhere. If you keep looking, you'll find one. I could use your help with my case. Okay, long story short. Exactly. You were keeping tabs on me, weren't you? I'm not surprised. I found an article in the Castle Crier about Carl wanting to keep tourists away from the castle. I know, right? I'm on it. Carl has a bunch of unsent love letters in his office. 
They seem like love letters. I guess, if anything, they seem a little sad. It's almost like he's given up on things working out but can't bear to get rid of the letters. Could be. I keep finding these references to the monster's past victims. I can't figure it out yet. The story seems to be that when the monster comes to the castle, he's always on the lookout for someone who reminds him of his previous victims. How did a story like this get started anyway? I've heard of that. A monster. Any more ideas about the story behind the monster? How so? You know, you're right. Interesting. Were you much of a prankster when you were a kid? Why not? Ned, that's it. That's what this is like. The dress, the necklace, the stories I keep finding. These are all pieces of a big setup. And once everything is perfect, then the monster strikes. And wait, what did you say about show stopping? What did you mean by that? Marcus and the investors. I've got to get to the bottom of this before Marcus gets here. Think about it. If you wanted an audience, who better than the owner and the investors he's trying to impress? I'm not sure. Not long. I need to find a way to take a photo of the monster. That'd be nice, but Carl won't believe me unless he sees proof. Renata said that she falls asleep instantly after eating. I found the castle's dungeon. Yeah. Agreed. Invent? When you put it that way, it does sound really strange. I found out there was an accident in the dungeon. I have no idea. I don't know yet. I asked Carl about the accident in the dungeon, and it was just that. He was giving a tour, and part of the dungeon collapsed. Everyone was okay in the end, but it really seems to have upset him. That's it exactly. He seems to think that he's cursed, and everything that happens only reinforces that idea. It's like the story of the monster. The people here believe that there's a monster, so they only pay attention to evidence that... I don't know. I'm working on it. Any great ideas? I found out that Anya lied on her resume. When I talked to her, she seemed pretty sorry about the whole thing. I know, but I think Anya needs to take responsibility for fixing this herself. Apparently, Anya and Marcus used to date. Yeah, she seemed really reluctant to talk about it. I think it might be. She seems a little upset still, but I think it's in the past for both of them. So how's Joe? Yes, it's like he won't stand for it. I agree. So how's the search for adventure coming? What's that? Maybe Bess and George? I'll work on it. Team Danger. The Clue Crew. Help Squad. And the winner is... Cluranosaurus Rex. Ned, Lucas is missing. Yes, I think something bad has happened. I will. I'm stuck in this weird dress. That's sweet, but it's still a little weird. The dress. I love the compliment. You're right. I think that I've been cast as the next victim. The dress, the necklace, all of the weird warnings I've been getting. I can't just walk away from a case. I'm not sure I even could if I wanted to. I will, I promise. I can't figure out why the monster would target certain people. I'll look. When I caught Lucas, I saw the real monster. Carl won't believe me, though. He wants proof. I'm not sure. A picture of the monster, maybe? I could really use some hints. Even better? <laughs> I doubt that. I love Hint Hotline. It's even better than your hints. I'm <laughs> just teasing. I miss getting my hints from you. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Bye. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. Hi, Frank. Oh, no. Is he really upset? I've tried, but I can't get past his voicemail. Not yet. That's good. Ugh, relationships. It's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. I'm not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Will do. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? A scapegoat? I need help finding the security booth here. I changed into a costume, and when I got back to my room, my clothes were shredded. Yeah. 
I know, but what's the message? And they're trying to scare me. Renata seemed really upset when she saw me in this dress. No, I found a strange necklace in the woods. It looks just like the necklace worn by the first girl who disappeared. Not sure yet. Anya told me that the necklace I found is dangerous, that it's what the monster is always looking for. Yes. Oh, you would not. I can't do that. It's a clue. I need to find my way into the glass studio. The monster, or something, attacked the castle. Yes, it was pretty creepy. When it left, I found a really weird burr. I think it might be a clue. I've met everyone here. It's a pretty strange bunch. Well, Carl, the leader here, is off in his own world working on elaborate board games. It's Anya who seems to be running things. She's certainly no pushover. She's also a little difficult to read. There's Renata. She's a traveling storyteller. I'm not sure. She can be a little cryptic. There's something she's hiding. Then there's Lucas, security guard's son. Loves causing trouble. Seems obsessed with pulling pranks. Really? What made you stop? I don't know. It might not even be any of them. I keep finding these references to the monster's past victims. One was about how one of the girls was digging out in the woods, so she was either looking for something... I think I found what that girl was trying to hide. A necklace. Supposedly, all of the monster's victims wore this necklace. I found some strange emails from the castle's owner. He seems pretty worried about money. Really? It seems like a castle would be the definition of a money pit. I wouldn't be so sure. It looks like he's pretty desperate to bring people into the castle. Maybe, but then why would he hire me to investigate? I think I might be in danger. Someone is trying to draw attention to the castle by making the monster myth come true. I think I've been brought in to be the next victim. The necklace, the dress, the stories, it all adds up. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm right yet. I know. I found a weird pair of stilts. Good plan. I discovered what the stilts were for. Lucas was dressing up as the monster. Not exactly. When I caught him, I saw the real monster. I called Ned. Me too. Thanks for being such a good friend. Thanks. How's Joe? Yep, that sounds like Joe. Tell him I say hi. That's okay. I think I get the picture. It's really sweet that he cares so much. I got stuck between the castle gates, and when I was in there, I got a good look at the monster. That's the thing. It looked pretty real. I'm not saying that it was, but it was actually a little startling. Well, a piece of fabric was left behind, but that's it. This has not been one of my better days. Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. That helps, I guess. True. Thanks for the effort. I found a dungeon. Well, if creepy is interesting, I could really use some money. The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Yeah, no one wants to talk. Do you think something like a monster could really exist? You really think so? Like what? No, thank you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? Well, there's the waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Yes, yes, I know. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. I don't understand. This isn't exactly going to bring him back. By scaring away his customers? Did he? You won't get away with this. Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. What do you mean? It must be something or you wouldn't have said anything. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? No. Yes. I'm not. Promise. A monster situation? Really? What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? I imagine they're not too popular right now. I found this necklace. What do you make of it? What does that mean? How did you... It's a long story. He's upset that we don't spend enough time together. And I said some things I shouldn't have said. Thanks. I need some boyfriend advice.
I think I need to apologize, but at the same time, he needs to let me live my life. Of course, I want him to be a big part of it, but I don't know how to explain that. That's it? Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I took your advice with Ned. It worked. Thank you for the advice. Can I see the glass shop? You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? I'd like to buy some souvenirs, but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? Are strange things happening now? How so? I'll let you get back to work. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? Okay, I'll let you get back to work. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. What's a Castellan? What do you think of Carl? So you two don't get along, I take it. Do people around here trust Carl? What can you tell me about the monster? Why not? Like what? I promise. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. I'd feel much more comfortable if I had an idea of what was going on here. Well, then what happens? This monster, does anyone know why it's supposed to be here? What's with a glass display? You make glass here, in the castle? I guess so. Sure, I guess. Not really. It sounds like these monster stories are all pretty old. I don't know if that's true. That might be true. Can you tell me a little about Lucas? No, no, I'm just curious. A little. Will do. Has Lucas always been such a prankster? Why does he seem to target Carl? What do you mean? What do you think of Renata? What reputation? Do you think that? Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? What? What was she doing? What do you know about the castle's owner? How so? Would you run things differently if you were in charge? Are you worried about the monster attacking the castle? Don't you feel a little bit silly worrying about a monster? So, how did you get such a cool job? I call Castle Cast. I was curious about the monster sightings. I wanted to see if they knew anything more about it. You mean you don't want me to find out that you lied on your resume? Too late for that. You know what I'm talking about. You lied on your resume. I have proof. Why would you do that? You could have been honest. That still doesn't make it right. I don't know. If I don't, you need to. I'll be checking. So Marcus is okay with you working here? Did you and Marcus date? Were you too serious? Is it hard working at the same place as Marcus? I heard Marcus was the one who broke up with you. What happened when you found out that Marcus owns this place? Did you leave this costume out for me? What? Can you tell me a little more about the festival? What is the festival a celebration of? I just found Lucas dressed up as the monster. Wait, when I caught Lucas, the two of us saw the monster. Positive. The girl in the painting, was she really the Freiherr's daughter? Did the girl in the legend really exist? I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. Someone just trapped me in the gates out front. I saw the monster, and suddenly I was trapped between the castle gates. Who knows how to operate them? Yes. 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 No. I'm not even sure it was really a monster. I'll let you go. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Thanks. See you later. Bye. See you later. Can you tell me about those necklaces? Yes. Not really. What do the people who live here think about the monster? Oh, it's nothing. It's my boyfriend. I should go check in with Carl first. I need to go see Carl. I want to check in with Carl first. That must be one of the hidden notes. I can't open it. It looks like that one lever is blocking the rest. I need to see if I can slide it free. I think a piece is missing. I bet all of the edges that are touching need to match up. I'd better take that stone tile with me. I don't want anyone following me through. It hasn't noticed me. I should try to get closer without being seen. Whoa! Oh no, I'm trapped! I wonder what's down there. Hello? Oh, neat! And Nancy bravely explored the well. Another thing to add to my bucket list of things that I got from a bucket. Oh, bucket, you always know what to bring me. The people in this castle have a very strange relationship with this well. Hooray! More stuff!
euros, well money, coins, more coins, cool. I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. Oh, that was too close. Well, this certainly proves it was not my imagination. These are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. The middle of this message is in some sort of code. I bet if I try moving the letters around in the columns, I can figure out what it says. I need to track down these locations and find all of the hidden notes. I need to find a way to wind the clock. That's not it. Wrong again. What was Renata doing with the clocks? Renata must have dropped this. I should figure out what it's for. This must have been what Renata was hiding. I bet I could use this on one of the clocks. I shouldn't do this right now. What's Renata up to? It seems like she's tracking the monster. I need to get to that box without waking Renata up. This might come in handy. There must be a specific order to play these in. Mmm, that looks good. Gotta love snacks. That looks delicious. Mmm, yum. Sweet. Treat time. Yes. The view is good from the top of the food pyramid. Time for a sleuth snack. Solving the case one bite at a time. Operation snack is go. That looks great. Time to solve the mystery of the delicious food. I'd better hang on to this. Ah! Ugh. I'd better find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. I need to change into some dry clothes first. I should find some dry clothes. Looks like it's missing two dials. That doesn't look right. That's not right. That can't be right. That doesn't make sense. That's not quite right. That doesn't make much sense. That doesn't look right. That doesn't make sense. Got it. I cracked the code. Decoded. There must be directions for how to use this somewhere. There must be cameras throughout the castle. It's the monster again. There's someone in the courtyard. It's the monster. I better go see if I can track it. Is that Renata? What's she doing there? I wonder what she wants in the forest. No dial tone. I guess I'll have to use the phone in my room. I wonder what this does. Everyone must have an area of the castle to secure when the alarm rings. This could come in handy. That's weird. This character has something special drawn here. What a strange place to keep a key. This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What an interesting painting. Castle cast. I should give them a call. I've seen that image before in one of the paintings here. Let's see what Carl's up to. Maybe there's a clue about how to get into the locked cabinet in here. That's the fifth color-coded entry. I wonder what that means. I wonder what these orders he's talking about are. All right, I win! I won! It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. It must be the wrong character type. Got it! Wait, what's that? I need a key. It's locked. Oh, that's bad. It says Anya. Could it be for the shop? That must be the Freiherr's daughter from the legend. I need to find an undamaged version of this painting. This might be the girl from the legend. I should translate this plaque. This must be one of the musical notes I need. That must be another of the musical notes I need. Third clock from left, 1921. This must be how Renata opened the clocks. I'll need to try this out myself. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. I need to recreate the pattern with the pieces I have here. It looks like there is something in here. I wonder how to get it out. I better take this with me. I should follow where those prints lead. That engraving must be one of the letters that Lucas's dad was talking about. Still no power. There's no power. Aha! That's why it's not working. Now it should work. This could come in handy. I hate snakes. Those footprints have a really odd shape. They seem to be heading back to the hall. The old snake prank. I bet Lucas is behind this. I bet I could use this to open that barrel. This should help me with that nugget. 
Let's see if that was long enough. Wow, this is the most metal Easter egg of all time. That's one of the cow pieces from Lucas's monster game. He must have been brought through here. The door's locked. I'll have to find another way out. It won't open. The lid's stuck. Need to find something that'll pry it off. That looks exactly like what the monster was wearing. That bag wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. This looks like the other code, but the pictures are different. A map of the passages. This should come in handy. I can't see anything. It's too dark to see. It's too dark. I can't see anything. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. This scarf looks like it's been down here a long time. Must have been very important to someone once. This looks like it's about the monster legend. Looks like something could fit in here. These images must hide some sort of clue. That one's of the necklace. I wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. Did it! Oh, what's this? I can't let the bar hit any of the buttons. Oops, can't do that. Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. I'd better hurry. Faster, Nancy. I need to finish and fast. Whoa, I'm glad I wasn't standing over that. The legend pages have letters like this on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. Whoa, it looks like the pieces slide to the next spot when they're put in. Stop! I know it's you! Anya, Carl, Lucas, Renata. I need more light. I can't see anything. This looks like it's about the legend. And there are letters in the corner. That's the same kind of burr that I found in the storefront. Ow! I'd better find a way to clear a path first. Ah! Ow, 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 ow! Ah! Burrs! Ouch! It's not working. These need sharpening. There's a camp back here. This looks just like the boulder I saw in that old picture. There's a letter G on the doorbell. I bet it's another one of the notes I need. I should go inside first. I don't want to go into the forest right now. I should go check in first. I should go meet Carl. Another coded message. I need to figure out what it says. Nothing there. Empty. Nothing here. Just dirt here. Aha! A necklace. It's so old. This must be what the girl was hiding. I wonder why. This was a sight on the map. I should wait and see if the monster appears. That's too many. Nope, not right. I got it. I'd better keep this. This will definitely come in handy. It looks like this was dropped accidentally. I wonder what it's for. I can't hold anymore. I'm at my limit. I'd better spend some first. I don't have enough. I need more money. I can't afford that. I can't hold any more cards. I have too many cards. I can't pick up any more cards. Oh, I'm just uh, turned around. Oh, sorry. Didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> A win for Nancy Drew. Victory! All right. You beat me. Good game. Nice job. You're very good at this. You win. I should fix those models. Sorry. I will. I need to take care of those models. I'm working on it. I should clean up the mess I made. You got it. This is the lowest room in the castle. I should be able to find the dungeon through here somehow. That's too hot. I'm stuck. Looks like Renata knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. I need to check those sights out. I should go to the courtyard. I need to hurry to the courtyard. I need to go the other way. This isn't the right way. He didn't go out that way. Hello? Sorry I bothered you. I'll go away now. I just want to ask a few questions. I wonder what Lucas is doing with these. There's something strange stuck in that door. I wonder if this could be the undamaged version of the painting of the Freiherr's daughter. I should take a closer look at this postcard. I wonder if there's anything behind that sticker. 
It looks like there were letters in the corner of the original painting. I need to find something to dig with first. I can't sharpen that. I'd rather not do that. I don't need to sharpen that. The monster did some major damage out here. Cool, a new phone charm. Huh? I wonder what this says. I got it. I wonder what this is supposed to do. I have to translate that. I need to translate the directions. Have to translate that. I should try that with my phone. All right, it looks like I'll be getting security alerts on my phone now. I already did that. I don't need to do that again. My phone's already set up. I've never seen that room before. I wonder where it is. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. Don't have enough money for that. That's too expensive. That's too much money. Wait, what's that? Whoa! Ah! <gasps> what happened? Who would do something like this? I can't play this game without Carl. I can't play this game alone. That looks pretty dangerous. I'd better be careful around that trap door. Better watch my step around this. Lucas? Is everything okay? I'll get you out. Hang tight. I need to go after the monster. I'd better track down the monster. I can't do this now. I need to see what's happening with the monster. What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? What's that? It looks like some sort of trap door. It looks like Lucas was dragged off. I'd better find him before something bad happens. I need to figure out the color code to open this. I don't want to leave the castle yet. It's too soon to leave. Maybe there's somewhere else to explore around here. Don't want to leave yet. Let's see what that girl was hiding. That won't work. I can't open a barrel with that. I don't think that's going to work. I need to see what the monster was up to in here. Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it? Something isn't quite right. Why would Anya print these emails and keep them here? Looks like I need a key. Shouldn't talk on my phone here. Can't talk on my phone now. I should try this when Anya's gone. <gasps> it's the monster! That's not the fastest way to the glass shop. I need to take the quickest route to the glass shop. I need to take the fastest route to the glass shop or I'll be too late. These look like a smaller version of what the girl in the painting was wearing. What strange looking necklaces. I'll play blue if you play the other two colors. There's a dungeon in this castle. I'd better find it. <gasps> hmm. For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Dare to play. Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived, and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster. And I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind. But after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas... That probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history. 
the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy. Check. Did that. That's done. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Yes. No. Monster? What monster? What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. What do you mean? What makes you so sure I'm looking for the monster? What makes you so sure of that? I'm not going to do that. Have you heard much about this monster? What happened? What kind of monsters? Sorry, but I don't believe in monsters. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? I think you're just trying to scare me. Afraid of what? Are you threatening me? Why are you here? But why are you here now? How well do you know Carl? What do you mean? I don't know. Probably not great. Do you and Carl get along? Why is that? What do you think of Anya? Why is that important? Why not? Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? If that's what you believe, why are you here? What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? I found a strange necklace out in the forest. It's like the necklaces in the gift shop, but much older, I think. Why? Do you do a lot of traveling? What's your favorite thing about traveling? What does that mean? I still think there's a lot to see. What do you mean? That's not true. I agree. Well, what's the real story with the monster? Like what? But if it's just one person, why the pattern? Why always the same girls? Do you think the stories are real? You said I know. What do you know? You're right. I don't believe you. Yes? Has anyone tried to fight the monster? Seems like some of these girls could have used some help. Aren't there usually knights in shining armor in old castle stories? A hero who saves the day. True. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. How did you become a storyteller? What? Okay, how did you become a storyteller? <laughs> I get it, but I'm still curious. What? Why do you have such a bad reputation? Why's that? Where are your favorite places to visit? That does sound nice. Did you hear that Lucas is missing? What do you mean? I think so. I couldn't do that. What were you doing in the shop? But I saw you. I'm sorry, you're right. I think you're just hiding behind that to avoid answering my questions. Are storytellers still in demand? Ah, that must be sad for you. I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? In the passages, that story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. How so? I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. Is that why you're here? That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Yes, it would. Yes? Why are you really here? Anya told me you have a habit of showing up whenever there's talk of the monster. Is that true? From what I hear, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. Would you like some food? How much longer do you plan on being a storyteller? Do you have a home?
Or are you always on the road? Where is it? It seems like it would be lonely, always traveling. Do you have a family? What happened? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you ever seen anything as strange as this monster on your travels? Why do you think that is? Where are you going after this castle? Do you think you're needed here? What do you mean by that? Bye. See you later. Thanks. See you later. I'll let you go. Bye. You've reached Milo Research and Technology. Leave your name and number and a brief message at the beep. Hi, you've reached Marcus. I'm out. My assistant can be reached at any hour of the day or night. Hi, you've reached Marcus. I'm out. My assistant can be reached at any hour of the day or night. Nancy, hi. Marcus here. Hello. Hi. Nancy, it's Marcus. Cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Nancy, call me back on the landline. Nancy, it's Marcus. Call me back on the landline. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? Great. I'm on my way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got the town in France you wanted, Rich. I want everything tied up with a neat bow. Signed, sealed, delivered, stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good, Nancy. Business is built on metaphors, fast talking and self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite of a car, too. You prove yourself to me in this case. I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses, three in Berlin and one somewhere, told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sorts of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture Nazi, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. Anya is Anya, always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. We used to date. Yeah, it was years ago. Well, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. Yes, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. I didn't. That's embarrassing for her. But, look, in this world, you've got to make your own luck. Anya's got a lot of heart, a lot of moxie. That's more important than a good resume. Still, I, I wouldn't expect her to do something like that. The kid. So, the, the situation is still pretty much the same. There's still a monster on the loose? Okay, um, good talk. Come on, what do you think you're even doing? Not you, the idiot with the... Yeah, you, buddy! Where, where do you learn how to drive? The, the, the 1800s? Yes, I'm driving. Uh, and this guy... Uh, yeah, still you, buddy! It's going so slow and swerving. I, I memorize. I am memorizing your license plate. Sorry, this this guy. I, I know you see me. I know you know why I'm yelling. Uh, if you want, I I got one of these hand-free phones, so it doesn't bother me. This weather is is not great. Really? So that gate salesman wasn't kidding. Well, well, that's a game changer. So if you could do me a favor and step up your efforts and get rid of the monster on the quick, that would be great. Okay, thanks. You are the greatest. Nope. No clue. Like I said, I, I'm big picture. I'm sure if you look around, you'll find it. It probably has a door of some kind, if that helps. It's called merging. Learn to do it. I will follow you home and explain it to you. Yeah, I, I've heard something like that. Uh, wait, are, are you getting all wrapped up in this nonsense? Fair enough. Truth is, it's a castle. It's really old. On a long enough timeline, everything develops a scary history. At least that's what the castle salesman said. Wow! I do not care about that problem. Put it on. Have fun. The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. 
Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? It is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. I don't know what to tell you about that. Could be the kid, maybe? I loved stuff like that when I was young. If he's cool, he's probably got a decoder around here somewhere. Nope, I'm very rich. I'm afraid that I don't know what you're talking about. Not the case. All due respect, but I am not going to discuss my finances with you, Nancy. No, whatever you think you have found doesn't concern me. I don't know what you're talking about. I doubt it. Now, unless you have some big news about the monster, I suggest that you get back to work. The kid, are, are you sure? Now, this is bad. If you do not figure out what's going on soon, I'll have to alert the authorities. Nothing. Is that a person? Oh, okay. I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. He's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job when he's not working on that game of his, that is. No, 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 no. I do not play games, but if I did, I would not play them with Carl. It might seem like a strange thing to do, but trust me, when you can afford to buy a castle, owning a castle suddenly makes so much sense. Not surprisingly. No. Sure thing, I'll do the right after we hang up. Staffing people. I don't have the time or interest to do the interviews here myself. They do it. And I spend their time doing anything but that. Of course, I paid my dues, trust me. So now I do what I want. It's pretty sweet. Hey, who, who taught you how to drive? Was it the stupidest dog on the earth? Because that is what it looks like. I tell you, Nancy, no one has manners these days. No, I, I thought I was going to live there. Castles are sort of awful. They're, they're dank. They have dungeons. They're, they're creepy. Oh, I disagree. A good vacation ends with you looking at your house and promising it that you'll never leave it again. It's simple. I, I take money, shuffle it around, and then BAM! Additional money. You sound like my financial advisor. Really? What, what, what did she say? Well, that, that's one version. But Anne is wrong about one thing. Her best years are still ahead of her. But don't tell her I said that because she'd assume that I'm being patronizing. Only a teeny little bit. Like, the littlest bit? Like, mostly, I, I'm being sincere. If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. Didn't it? Bye. See you later. Get it done. Call it and it's all finished. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, get me out of here. Nancy? Nancy, please hurry. Don't leave me in here. You got to hurry. Help me. The creature caught me and locked me up in here. Is someone out there? I can't talk to you right now. I'm busy. Come back later. Can't talk now. I can't talk to you right now. Didn't we just finish talking? That was fast. Did you want something else? Hi. What's up? Hey, Nancy. Hello. Hello. Probably. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. Ah! What are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. Nancy, come down here. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play monster? Nancy, I think I can hear the monster outside. Thank you for not getting me in trouble. For that, I'm going to help you track down that monster. I'm on it. The best game ever. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. Let's play around. Does no one have time for fun in this fast-paced modern world? That's from that one commercial. Okay, well, if you change your mind and decide you don't want to be boring, then let me know. Prices might be involved. Are you back to play more Monster? Cool. Okay, sure. Cool. All right, let's get going. To Monster Stadium. All right! If you want to call it that, I guess that you could. But really, they're not just pranks. They're something better. I don't know, but pranks are stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. You'll see. Something good. The people around here will be talking about it for years. I heard that it's a forest yeti. It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave usually. And he gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people. And he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore. And he runs into the town. And he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all. And he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Sounds kind of like that. I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. 
Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. They're so boring. Every group says the same thing, no matter when they come. They all make the same stupid jokes, and I always have to pretend to be amused. Oh, Carl can't catch me, that's just how it is. Carl couldn't catch a cold that was looking for him. He couldn't catch a ball if you glued it to his hand. He couldn't catch an acorn if he was the ground. I can continue if you'd like. He couldn't catch a... a thing if he was a different thing. I really didn't expect you to say yes. Yeah, it's like he's not even trying these days. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. Isn't that what everyone says on all of those TV shows? My lawyer? I need a lawyer. I ain't talking without my lawyer. And I ain't gonna do it, see? Not till you get me a real class A briefcase jockey. That sounded good, right? Well, I don't even know why you're here and, and why you're bugging me. Maybe you should just leave me alone. Yep, the whole time. My dad's the head of security here, so I know pretty much everything there is to know about everyone here. Most of it's boring. But not all of it. I can't tell you I'd get in trouble. But it's bad. My dad says all castles have bloody histories because they're built by greedy men. He says that a lot. I can't tell you. Also, I don't really know. She's not so great. My dad says she's lucky that they let her come here. She has a reputation. I don't know. She steals or something. No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. She's just in the way. I don't like her. You ask too many questions. I heard that all those girls, they were killed by the monster. I hope not. It's so puffy. Are you sure you're even in there? You're welcome. It is? I thought it was pretty cool. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. It's not boring like some places. Did you know that hundreds of years ago, they used to have a gallows here, and you could see it right from my window? When I visit my uncle's place, he just has a grocery store outside of his window. No. Yeah, well, they just don't, okay? I don't exactly have a lot of friends. No one wants to hang out with creepy lookers. No, but they think it. It is a castle and all of the bad things that have happened here. No, they're really afraid of this place. And since I'm not, they say I must be creepy too. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Maybe for other people. Yeah, I, I think I saw it. I mean, I really did see it. But maybe not. Should I not believe in it? Do you know something about the monster? You sound like my aunt, always telling me that monsters aren't real. But I can tell even she doesn't believe what she's saying. If monsters aren't real, then why do castles exist? And suits of armor? And swords? It can't all be pretend if the rest of this stuff is here. I do? You're not supposed to keep saying that monsters are real. You're supposed to say that they're not. That's how it goes. I'm never getting to sleep tonight. You're like all the rest. That's different. You'll understand when you're older. Stop touching that. You're going to break it. I've had it all before. You don't want to admit how things really are. You just want to pretend that everything is fine. Who? Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he likes him all that much. I can't just tell you that. Sorry. Can't tell. She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. Oh, yeah, those are weird, right? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. They're always fighting. Carl? He's always so worried about everything. They used to be funnier, but then they made him change them. Oh, they were great. It was like, warning, stairs, falling may occur. <laughs> or, avoid chucking hazards. Use the buddy system at dinner. Someone made him take them down. Who knows? He's pretty good at worrying. I don't know. I saw something. I don't know what it was. Down in the passageways. It was awful. Why did you ask me if you didn't want to listen? I need your help. Can you go distract Carl? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. Can you do it? Of course you shouldn't. That's what makes it fun. 
Trust me, it'll be worth it. Anyway, he's been so grumpy lately, it'll be good for him. And it will be very funny for me. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. You are my favorite new person in the world, Nancy. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. Totally. Oh, do you want to hear a secret? Carl has a bunch of love letters in his desk. You've got to see them. They are really funny. It was? Thanks, Nancy. I spent a forever on it. All I did was think of what would scare me if I saw it when I was alone at night. And then I tried to make it. I don't know. It just made a lot of sense and then I did it. Truth is, I'm sort of a monster expert. Yes, I have seen all of the monster movies and I know all of the monster rules. Silver bullets, stakes, water, sunlight. You need to fight a monster. I'm your guy. Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. He's probably invincible. I think I'm probably fine since I'm small and he's probably pretty hungry. Yeah, but my mom is from America, so I learned it from her. Away on some stupid business trip. She's on a job interview. If she gets a job, I probably have to move. Duh, it's a castle. This is the coolest type of house. Everyone says that, but I say castles are awesome. Stop pretending that they're not. I'm not that stupid. Especially when they have monsters. Yeah, but it's a secret. The best way to catch a monster is to think like a monster. Do you know how to do that? You do? You're supposed to say no. It's kind of creepy that you said yes. But that works. I guess you know what you need to do then. Right. It was a trick question. Monsters don't think. They just terrorize things. Oh, well... Hmm. I guess you should think of the smartest thing a monster could do and then do... Not that. Shh. I've got a good thing going. Don't ruin it for me. Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. Nice game. Here you go. Yes? It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some, if you can beat me at Monster. You win. Here you go. Nice round. You beat me. Okay. Here you go. You didn't win that round. You should try again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Yes, I win. I don't know. Somewhere far away. Up north somewhere. No, but I did lock you out when you first got here. Remember that? Oh, yeah. No, something bad is going to happen now. I just know. No, it isn't. Promise me you'll stay close, okay? Thanks, Nancy. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. Pretty good. Not my best. Bye, Nancy. Bye. See ya. See you later. Probably a monster. Yes? We'll continue taking turns until either all three monsters or all the cows are dead. Then the round is over and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer and I'll be the monster. This time, I'll be the farmer and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn and I'll get to guess again. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors a winner. Let's play! We'll play two rounds and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. When I guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed and I can either choose to guess again or pass. No, you don't need to do that. What is your name? What? What is your quest? This is Lucas. Please let me out. What is your favorite color? What? This is what you sound like when you say that. What? No. But if you can find the match... Maybe I'll let you in. No, nice job. Now for part two of your test. You passed, good job, gotta go. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, nothing? Okay, you got me. But this is the first time I've done this, I swear. What's what? Ah! See, it wasn't... See, it wasn't me. Although, you have to admit, my costume looked pretty... Oh, dang, it just looked at us. I'm out of here. Thanks, Nancy. 
I'm out of here. Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? Okay, I'll be right back. No, thank you. We already have one. No, thank you. We already have one. Nancy, come up to my office. Come to my office quickly. Something terrible has happened. Where have you been? My office, quick. What are you doing? Nancy, I'm shocked. What are you doing? Look at that mess. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. You still need to put everything back the way it was. I'm not kidding around. You need to clean up this mess now. Not now, Nancy. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you right now. Need something else? Hi, didn't we just have a conversation? Hello? Hi again. Nancy, what is going on? Hi, Nancy. Oh, hello, Fräulein. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. You're back! Great! I still need your help this raid. Ah, uh, Nancy, do you mind if I ask you a question? Nancy, something terrible has happened. It's Lucas. He's missing. You must be Nancy, yes? There is certainly no monster, Fräulein, and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also huge problem. I need your help. Doing what? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. Of course. Doesn't yours? How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. No, I do not think that is the case. I wish it was, though. Then we would know what to expect. That means I can send Raid in. Only... <sighs> this castle, it is very old. It is not built for so many visitors. When I started, I thought it would be nice to have tours, take people around. I took a group down into the dungeon. I thought it would be fun to show them the cells. I did not know what would happen. I really did not. I closed the door and the whole room collapsed. No one died, but a few came very close. I stood on the other side of the door and there was nothing I could do. I am a magnet for bad luck. It is best that I be left alone. You will think it silly. When I was a boy, I took a train to Berlin with my father. He fell asleep, so I wandered the train. In the pack, I found a boy my age to play with. Strangely, he looked just like me. Exactly like a doppelganger. The boy was very strange. The whole time we played together, he did not say a single word. Very unnerving. Eventually, my father found us. He had this expression I'd never seen before. At first, I thought he was angry I'd wandered off. But no, he was scared. He grabbed my arm and yanked me back to our car. I remember looking at the boy, and he had the oddest smile. You must never meet your doppelganger. And if you see yours one day, run! To allow them even a moment in your life is to be cursed like me. After that day, everyone I loved, everyone I cared about got hurt or fell ill. So I moved here. Some people hide in castles to stay safe behind the walls. I use these walls to keep the world safe from me. But now, you see, even that isn't working. It's not. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. What? No one. That is none of your business. Mm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. Let me see. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? All right, now what do you think? Brown fur or black fur?
Now the character needs a special item. Should it be a magic golden ring or a never-ending pocket full of gold coins? Now you should choose hero or monster. Excellent. Now your creation needs a name. Should it be the Great Bear or Ursa Major? Thanks. Here you are. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. I will sit here and be your unsuspecting prank victim. And finally, I will be able to catch him in the act. I did not catch him in the act. I don't want to talk about it. Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be Perfect. Right, the monster and all that, sure. Oh, excellent, yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'm sorry, Nancy, my English is not so good. Did you say yes, I'd love to help you? Let's just pretend you did. Also, I lied, my English is very good. Lucas is the castle's other monster. He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. Bye, Nancy. See you later, Nancy. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs. After a rainstorm, she drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door, and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. Thanks, Nancy. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. Oh, it's simply the best night of the year! Well, normally it is. This year, I don't know. Every year, the whole castle gets together to celebrate another year without a monster sighting. There are strange things going on, but we're not sure that it's the monster. Also, we we already paid for the custom-made cake. Truth is, it's best to give everybody something positive to focus on. These are frightening times. Honestly, there is not much we know about it. Most of us have only seen the destruction it leaves behind. I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them, and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. What do you mean? She should not be doing that. She knows not to be doing that now. It does not matter. I will have to talk with her. Those I do not like to talk about. Those girls, they're the monster's past victims. This monster, this is not the first time he's been to this castle looking for a victim. No one knows. Some say that the monster takes a bride and that the two live together deep in the forest. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on now. I do not want to know. Those girls never come back. That alone is enough to keep me up at night. And Nancy, if the monster is back, you do well to distance yourself from what you see in those paintings. We can only guess what will happen next by what's happened before. And if anyone here looks like one of the girls in the paintings, it'd be you. 
Fräulein, these are not dolls. These are injection molded, professionally crafted, physical, tactical, multi-directional place holding avatars. Therefore, a fully immersive strategic map inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. You Americans would call it a game. But that is because in the rest of the world, games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously. That is why German board games are the best in the world. Yes, they are. I don't know what is worse, doubting me or doubting German board games. <laughs> Both of these things are a problem in my opinion. Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can always use constructive criticism. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? I understand. But come back and give it a try later. I need reviewers. I'd be willing to pay you for your time. Don't forget. <laughs> nice job, Nancy. Here you go. Good round. Nice game. Nicely done. You are very good at Raid. Great game. Great. It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? Great. Nice round. What did you think? Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I said to myself, Carl, this is the one. This is a game that's going to put you on the map. Here, take this for your trouble. You didn't? Oh. You've done it again, Carl. Getting too excited. I need to work more. Take this and please try again. She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. This has been bothering me. Why are you here? Marcus explained why you were coming here, but it doesn't make sense why he'd send you to solve this problem. You're just a kid. It's not right that he should send you. I've heard, but something about this seems wrong. Marcus or whoever recommended you be sent here, maybe they had not the best of intentions. Is that what you think? I hope it is true. But I knew it. I knew it was him this whole time. And here I've been worried that some monster was coming back. Can you believe that? How silly had I been a monster. <laughs> As if such a thing could actually happen these days. I'm such a fool. Well, I guess it's time to have a party anyway. But instead of being about the monster showing up, it will be about sending that scoundrel to the strictest military school on the planet. By the time they're done with him, you know... I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is there anything worse than military school? Hmm. I should ask the internet. There must be. Could I send him to the circus? Is that still done? Ooh! I could send him on a walkabout. Hmm. I doubt his father would like that. You mean you saw Lucas as the monster? No, wait. I'm confused. What did you... Are you sure about that? Oh, that is disappointing. No, 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 no. I'm sure it was just your imagination. You've got the real culprit. I'll call Marcus and let him know that you've got everything under control. Nice job, Nancy. I'm not sure I believe it. I had my suspicion that it was Lucas. You can try, but as far as I'm concerned, you've caught our monster. You should be proud. I've spent many years trying to catch that little monster in the act, and he's always just way too fast for me. This is not good, not good at all. If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. I wish it was. 
It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. This is not about liking Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. Yes, yes, get it out of your system now, Fraulein. No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes. And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. It's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. I don't know what you're talking about. You do not know what you're talking about. Get out! Now! He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any fool can get one of those things and anyway, they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. What are you talking about? Oh, excellent. Lucas! It's the monster! He's struck again! Quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. It has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. Nancy, this is different now. You better leave. That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. Hi, it's George. I'm away from my phone. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hello? Nancy, what's up? Hi, you've reached Frank Hardy. I am busy. Hi, you've reached Frank Hardy. I am busy. What? I can barely hear what you're saying. Call me on a landline. I can't hear you. Call me back on a better line. This connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Hi, you get in touch with Ned yet? Well, Joe's been keeping him company. Tell me about it. Haha, <laughs> same here. Occupational hazard, I guess. So, what's going on in Germany? What's your take on the situation? Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. Hmm. In older buildings, there are a lot of secret spots. Keep poking around. You'll run into it soon. Shredded? That is bad. Someone is definitely trying to send you a message. It seems like this person wants you to stick around, and they want you to be in costume for the festival. Well, that's a tall order. Did she explain why? It's an older style, isn't it? Maybe it reminds her of something from her past. Really? That's kind of cool. What do you think it means? The same necklace you have? Maybe you should get rid of it. Good point. Also, bad point. I'm undecided. I wouldn't get rid of it, but I would let Joe be the one to hold on to it. I might. Have you asked for a key? Someone must have one. Wait, really? You should try to find out where the burr comes from. If it's unique enough, it might lead you back to where the monster lives. How so? What's she like? Who else is there? Interesting. What's she like? Knowing you, you'll get to the bottom of it in no time. Yep, that's pretty common. Oh yeah. I had a prank phase. So did Joe. Got too busy. I think I still have a notebook full of ideas somewhere, although most of the ideas involve variations on the bucket of water over a door theme. Gotta love the classics. Who do you think is behind the monster? Tell me more. Or she was trying to hide something. You should see if you can find out what she was hiding. Yeah? What was it? Not exactly what you'd expect from a person who owns a castle. True, but if you own a castle, you're probably doing okay financially. Desperate enough to pull off a dramatic stunt? Good point. Why? What's happened? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Why would anyone want to do that? 
Nancy, if that's true, then this is very serious. Huh. Well, maybe you should look for a short person? Or someone with unreasonably high shelves. Yeah? So, case closed. You're on the next flight home? This place has too many monsters. I heard. I'm glad the two of you could work things out. I didn't doubt that you would. No problem. It's good to see you two back together. He's great. He says hi. Oh, also, he wanted me to tell you something. Hang on, I had him write it down because it was too weird to remember. There we go. Dear Nancy Drew. He used your last name for some reason. I am glad you and Ned are back together. You go together like peanut butter and jelly. When you're apart, it's like peanut butter and sadness. Or jelly and uncomfortable silences. Either way, you're looking at a sandwich that no one wants, and probably no one will buy it ever. Oh, you wish that was the end of the note. It goes on. A world where Ned and Nancy are not together as a couple is as disturbing as it is dangerous to the quantum makeup of our interstellar plane of reality. You know what? I'm just going to stop reading there. Really? What did this monster look like? Did you see anything? Any sort of clue? What's going on? Oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I'm sure you'll solve the case. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. No problem. That is really cool. I wish I was there. Anything interesting in there? Try seeing if there is anything you can do for the people around the castle. Really? You've tried? They must really be scared of this thing. Sure. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. Well, it sounds crazy, but it's true. There are plenty of monsters in the world. We just give them names and pretend that they're reasonable. Like sharks! There is no way that sharks are not monsters. Have you seen those things? They have a scientific name now that we have learned all we can about them, but take a swim with one and tell me it's not a monster. Right. So whatever it is that's scaring people, it may turn out to actually be something else. But if everyone is this scared, it is a monster. What did you do to Ned? I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Bye, Nancy. See ya. Catch you later. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for Castle's reenactments, historical modeling, and time period appropriate buskers. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for Castle's reenactments, Renaissance cuisine, and realistic sword fighting demonstrations. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, alchemy kits, catapult repair, and Trojan horse inspection. Ask us about our wizard discount. All operators are currently busy. Please call back. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for jesters, terrified astronomers, pitchforks, torches, and horse uniforms. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for moat supplies, siege gear, and extra long trumpets. Ask us about our wizard discount. All operators are currently busy. Please call back. Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for court jesters, realistic dragon statues, grails, and questing supplies. Ask us about our wizard discount. My name is Jordan. How may I help you? Thank you for calling Castle Cast, your one-stop staffing solution for castles, drawbridges, jousting supplies, casual and formal suits of armor. Ask us about our wizard discount. All operators are currently busy. Please call back. Hi, Nancy Drew. What solution can I provide for you today? Oh, I'm very sorry. I can't give that information out without proper clearance. Thank you for calling. Oh, yes. I spoke with your boss. Ask away. Oh, Anya, she was just the greatest. We all loved her so much. Please tell her that Jordan says hello and that getting the mail will never be the same without her. Yeah, she delivered the mail. She did a really good job, too. And, oh, we all just loved her. A manager? No. Sorry, are we talking about the same Anya? 
Anya Middlemeyer? No, there must be a mistake. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it's not true. I'm really sorry. Not the Anya I know. Oh, I'm sorry, that's been discontinued. Thank you for asking. Sorry, I'm... Wait. Finster? Castle Finster? Is that where you're calling from now? Is that where Anya works? Crazy. So are the stories about the monster true? I can't believe that's where Anya ended up. Talk about lucky. Getting to go to exotic places and work in a castle? That's luck right there. I've never gotten to travel, and believe you me, I would love to get on a jet and just end up halfway round the globe, but that's not how things go. Oh, yes. I'm a history buff, so there are lots of places I'd love to see. The pyramids, the Roman Forum, the Acropolis. It's more than fun. I think it's my duty to see the world. I mean, it's here. It seems like a waste just to stay here and never go celebrate Cinco de Mayo in Mexico or... Canada Day in Canada? Maybe one day. What position is she in? Sorry, that's management. She must have gotten the job internally. Probably from whoever is in charge at the castle. Is he one of ours? Then he's one of the best. We don't take security lightly. Not that I know of. Except... We've got one place that keeps having these large humanoid holes put into the wall. But we think that's just a group of kids. No, but these kids these days... <laughs> am I right? Sure, we have many to choose from. We had some problems with email signatures getting a little long a few years back, and that's no laughing matter. So we made a little guide. Sure did. I got two copies myself. It's one of my favorites. Oh my, no. That would be strictly against company policy. Is that in the pamphlet? If it isn't, it should be. We have. So you want to host an office party? Don't. That one's popular. We also have, let's be reasonable about office supplies. I helped write that one. And well, we have so many. Oh, and my new favorite is, so you decided to pretend to be sick and then posted pictures of yourself having fun online while everyone else is working. It's firm, but fair. I can't tell you too much. It would be against policy. All right, you just seem so darn nice I couldn't say no. Truth is, she was a sweetheart. Everyone liked her. Nope, she didn't. I'd have given her the full recommendation of this office. But it wouldn't have been enough. Castellin, that's a pretty great job. A lot of people would want it. Now, I don't approve of how she got that job, but she would not have gotten it any other way, I guess. Well, isn't that quite the mouthful? No, but it sounds delightful. The 15th century. We'd love to have that information, but it just doesn't exist anymore. You'll have to explore yourself. I am, yes. It was before my time. I've heard it mentioned in passing. The way people talk about it... It must have been very terrible. Bye. Thanks for calling. Talk to you later. Goodbye. You've reached Beth. I'm away from my phone. Call me later. I can't talk to you right now. I'm busy. Come back later. Can't talk now. I can't talk to you right now. Didn't we just finish talking? That was fast. Did you want something else? Hi. Hello again, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hello. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? No, no. I am the one to apologize. Nancy, what happened? You look very sad. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... That's it. A strong heart. What? You don't know? Then it's nothing. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. 
Are you the easily frightened type? Good. You would tell me if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. How do you say this? There is a monster situation potentially taking shape. Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. Really? That's why everything is so quiet right now. Everyone who can leave has left. As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing, flocks of sheep would disappear, claw marks would appear on the trees. Did you know that they say that the monster always looks for the girl wearing the necklace? Indeed they are not. Come to think of it, it would be a nice show of solidarity if we all wore the necklace. A way of saying, if you come for one of us, monster, you are dealing with all of us. That's been my sales pitch lately. It isn't working. Still, you've got nothing to worry about with these. The real necklace, that's another story. This... This is not like the necklaces I sell. This is... old. I'm not certain, but that might be the original necklace. I don't know, but I wouldn't be carrying that thing around. That's what all those girls were wearing when... Well, you know. I know what nothing looks like, and that is not nothing. That looks like... hmm... Boy trouble. You do not even need to confirm I know I am right. I know that look. I've seen it in the mirror many times. What happened? Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. You came to the right place. Everyone would say, oh, The monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. I know it will work. Oh, when I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. Oh, that is fantastic! I'm so happy for you. I could tell you looked much happier. Any time, Nancy. Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. Yeah, but, uh, different this time. The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. No, that's okay. It's just... You can understand why I'm not supposed to say anything. But Nancy, something bad is going to happen here. I can feel it. You didn't hear it from me, but keep your door locked tonight. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister. Sort of like the mayor. Or, I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. I think that Carl has been placed on this planet to test my patience. 
The fact that that man got elected makes me wish we were back in the days when you had to pull a sword out of a stone or a lake or something to assume power. He'd never be able to figure it out. Too many steps. What with the pulling and then the not dropping it and then the remembering to tell people about what happened. Apparently enough do. He still got the job. I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? Okay. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound, it's no animal I've ever heard of, and it is definitely not human. It sounds, I don't know, frustrated? At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. It is. I love this job, Nancy. My job is to make you feel more at home, not to scare you. People have stopped talking about it. Those who can have skipped down. Those of us who really live here... Let's just say you're not going to be finding many open doors on a night like tonight. People are scared. Legend says he comes from the forest whenever the girl in the necklace walks the castle halls and he will stop at nothing to steal her away into the woods. No one knows, but these girls, they are never seen again. None of them. Ah, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the last few days we'd have to stop them for the moment. Oh yes, I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying, the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? She might be right. But you could also say that the monster is also one of the old things. I'm with you. Glass is nice, don't get me wrong, but I like it even better when it's part of a TV or a light bulb. Maybe that's why we're all so afraid of this thing, whatever it is. It's from that old world, just like this castle is. I don't think we have what it takes to make it in that world anymore. I wouldn't be so sure. I didn't always think so, but... Remember the last time you were somewhere when the power went out? There is that split second before you reach for the flashlight where it feels like the bottom is dropping out of the room and you just want normal back. And for that second, there is this part of you is so scared that it will never be back. That's what it's like when I hear the monster. Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now, and let me know if he's bothering you. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good, but a good kid still. Ugh, unfortunately, yes. I swear he was trying to trick us before he said his first word. Even as a baby, he had this glint in his eye like he was up to something. It was less cute than you'd imagine, actually. I know. You are thinking I condone it. I don't. Lucas's father is always so busy running security. Honestly, I think that Lucas is a little lonely these days. He doesn't have a lot of friends at school, from what I can tell. He must like the attention. 
That being said, I think most of these so-called planks are Carl's doing. The way he blunders through life, it's not surprising that he always thinks he's the victim of some practical joke. He's the victim of a joke, all right, but it's more cosmic than practical. I love her stories. Sometimes when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. It's... It's difficult to explain exactly. She's... A lot of people say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. I'd be surprised. But then again... No, never mind. It's nothing. Okay. I shouldn't be telling you this. One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually, that was the last we heard of the monster for a while too. Marcus, right? He seems like a nice enough guy. He mainly deals with Carl. He's a little culturally tone-deaf, but it could be worse. Oh, the Bavarianization of the castle! This is not what Germany is really like. It's a theme park version of history. But that's what he wants, so that's what he gets. It's not the end of the world. I just have to wear a dirndl more than anyone should have to wear a dirndl. Honestly, though, it's not that uncomfortable. And you know, I think the old clothes look nice. Yeah, but that's always the story. My dad used to say, Meps always sigh when a new king takes the throne. I don't know. Lately, it feels like a rubber band is being stretched back somewhere, and at any moment it's going to snap and smash everything to smithereens! Maybe that's the monster! Maybe that's something else. Yes, but I don't know. The history here was those poor girls who've gone missing. The first thing I learned when I started here is that this castle has a dark past. It's just as silly to assume things are going to be okay. I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. The employment place? Why would you do that? What would they know? You shouldn't be bothering them anyway. They must be very busy. What are you talking about? Okay. I did, okay? What was I supposed to do? I wanted this job more than anything. I was honest. I was honest every day. I worked hard at my job every day. No one noticed how hard I worked. No one cared. I'm sorry. I didn't think it would hurt anyone. I love this job. I love this castle. I knew that this was the place for me. I just got a little carried away. I know, Nancy. I know it doesn't, but... I knew that no one would ever give me a chance if they thought I was just some poor girl who never went to a fancy school. You know, there are people who are born surrounded by opportunity, and they squander it. I think that is worse than what I did. I wanted this job more than anything. It was the only way I could build a secure future for myself. Please, I'm begging you, please don't tell. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I will. As soon as I can. I promise. He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. Yes, but... That was a long time ago. We were, or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. We never actually see each other. And anyway, our relationship is long over. One day we realized that we wanted different things, and that was that. Yeah, that's what happened. 
You'll excuse me for not getting into the ugly parts of the breakup with you. It's not really your business. I'm sorry to snap at you. It's just hard to talk about. Since you are so curious, yes, he left me. I spent my best years by his side, and one day he tells me it's over. Next thing I know, I find he's running around with some blonde trophy girlfriend. If you're curious, yes, it hurt a lot. It wasn't a pleasant surprise, I'll tell you that. But, like you noticed, my resume isn't exactly what it needs to be. If I leave this job, it's back to delivering the mail. I don't want to go back to that now. It's rough, but I deal with it. No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. It's the best. It's a shame that you're here this year. Normally it's so much bigger. It's this big get-together with lots of dancing and great food and great stories. Oh, and there is this fantastic cake. It's just amazing. Well, the story goes that when the monster took his first victim, the whole castle got together and built a huge bonfire and took an oath to find and destroy the monster. They met each year to renew their pledge and they'd burn a monster made of sticks in effigy. But as the years went by, it just became an excuse to get the whole castle together for a fun night. Well, that's the story most years. What? Really? Oh, that kid is in for it now. <laughs> How does costume look? See, I knew all this was nonsense. You know, I've got to give him credit. He had us all pretty worried. Oh, he is in so much trouble. I ask you, what is the appropriate punishment for something like this? What do you mean? Uh, are you sure? So this creature is wandering around now? And of course, Carl is doing nothing about it, as per usual. How many times did he tell me he was sending out patrols? I've got it all under control. There is nothing to worry about. Blah! So incompetent! Who knows? She's not real. I mean, those girls really did disappear, but that's just an artist's guess of what they looked like. She probably looked nothing like that. The part of those drawings that always gets me... They just seem to be looking to you for help. I always just want to say, I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Don't stop running. It's Lucas, he's gone. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. What? What do you mean? Everyone. There's really not much to them. But you saw the monster? Are you sure? Should we warn everybody? Okay, good. Lots of people are claiming that they've seen the monster. We're going to need a lot of evidence to get the castle to believe us. I know you can do it, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Ah, good thinking. We need to be sure. We need proof before warning everybody. Keep working at it, Nancy. I'm sure you can do it. They're based on the original Freiherr's daughter's favorite necklace. She was wearing it when she went missing. Pretty spooky if you think about it. Nancy, what are you doing? You can't be back there. Get out now! Get out of there now! Get out of there now! Nancy, it was, it was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Don't leave me here. You don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. How you to say, Nancy? You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Looks like I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. Well, enough with the niceties. It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. 
And one day he makes his first big deal in the valley. Next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature's sightings as a publicity stunt? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress, and I'm the monster!